This tropical orchid bee isn't here for a snack of pollen or nectar. He has one thing on his mind, seduction. He's collecting an irresistible perfume. Unbeknown to him, he's also pollinating the orchid. Thus, each species depends on the other to find a mate. These kinds of incredible interactions between species abound in the tropics. Of course, there are species interactions everywhere, but studies consistently find that they're stronger or more prevalent closer to the equator. For example, in the US, many trees are pollinated by wind, but in the tropics, almost all pollination is by animals. That's why some people move there to escape their allergies. Why are these patterns true? No one knows for sure. My name is Karina Basket, and I'm studying how relationships between plants and insects vary at different latitudes. I'm starting by studying pollination and herbivory in pokeweed, planted here from five latitudes. Every ecosystem is a delicate web of interactions between its residents. We must understand the structure of that web to properly conserve disappearing ecosystems, like the tropical rainforest. And we must understand why species relationships vary with latitude, as climate change shifts species habitats. So I'm doing this research because it's only by studying this kind of relationship that we can ever hope to improve this kind of relationship between people and the forest.